Hello and welcome to Answering ATPL. In this video, we will discuss the topic of scale for general navigation subject. First, we will look at the basic facts about scale. Next, we will discuss the difference between large scale and small scale charts. And lastly, we will look at calculation technique for common scale question. Section 1. Introduction Scale is defined as the relationship between the length of a line drawn on a chart and the distance on the earth between the same point. There are three formats of expressing scale on a chart. Statement in words, graduated scale line and representative fraction. Let's look at each of these format. Statement in words. On the screen are several samples of statement in words that you can find on common aviation charts. 1 inch equal to 20 nautical miles. Basically, the meaning of this statement is that a line 1 inch long on the chart represent a line 20 nautical miles long on the earth's surface. Graduated scale line On the screen is a sample of a set of graduated scale line that you can find in an aviation chart. The graduated line may be in nautical mile, statute miles, or kilometer. It can usually be found at the bottom of the chart. To use the graduated line, we can either use a drafting compass or a ruler. For example, you want to know the earth's distance between these two points. Open the drafting compass to the length of point A and point B. Then, compare the drafting compass opening to the graduated scale. Make sure the pointy side is on the zero mark. Then, make a mark using the pencil side. As you can see, the distance is slightly more than 30 nautical miles. Open the drafting compass to the length between the last nautical mile marker, in this case 30 nautical mile, and the mark that we just created. Use the small graduated scale on the left side of the graduated scale line to find the remaining earth distance after 30 nautical mile. It is approximately 5.2 nautical mile. Therefore, the overall earth distance between point A and point B is 35.2 nautical mile. Other than using the graduated scale line, we can also use the latitude markings on the longitude line to find the earth distance using the same technique. For every 1 degree change of latitude, the earth distance is 60 nautical mile. And for every 1 minute change of latitude, the earth distance is 1 nautical mile. Representative Fraction Among all three scale format, representative fraction is the most important for your ATPL examination. It is basically a statement in word put into mathematical form. It can either be written as a ratio or fraction. The representative fraction is calculated using the following equation. Scale equal to chart length over earth distance. Representative fraction has no unit or dimensionless. 
in the calculation process, both numerator and denominator must have the same unit that cancel out each other. We will discuss the calculation technique later in the video. A 1 to half million representative fraction means one unit on the chart is equivalent to half a million units on the Earth's surface. One centimeter on the chart is equivalent to 500,000 centimeter on the Earth's surface, or one inch on the chart is equivalent to 500,000 inches on the Earth's surface. Section 2 Large Scale versus Small Scale Charts Before we look at the difference between large scale and small scale chart, we need to revise our basic math knowledge. In school, we learn for a fraction, the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction value. Thus, 1 over 50,000 is larger than 1 over 500,000. We can rewrite the equation as 1 to 50,000 is larger than 1 to 500,000. On the screen are sample of large scale chart and small scale chart. The representative fraction for the large scale chart is 1 to 50,000 and for the small scale chart is 1 to 500,000. 1 square centimeter on a large scale chart represents 50,000 centimeter multiplied by 50,000 centimeter or 0.25 square kilometer on the Earth's surface. 1 square centimeter on a small scale chart represents 500,000 centimeter multiplied by 500,000 centimeter or 25 square kilometer on the Earth's surface. Therefore, we can say that for the same paper size, small scale chart represent larger area compared to large scale chart. Since a large scale chart covers a smaller area for the same paper size compared to a small scale chart, more detail can be put into the chart without oversaturating it. As you can see on the screen, a large scale chart contains more detail compared to small scale charts. On the screen is the summary of the difference between large scale and small scale chart. You can think of a large scale chart as the zoom in picture of the Earth's surface and a small scale chart as a zoom out picture of the Earth's surface. Section 3 Scale Calculation According to ATPL Learning Objective, for general navigation subject, there are two categories of scale problem Mercator scale and simple scale. In this video, we will only focus on simple scale problem. Mercator scale problem will be explained in a future video. All simple scale problem can be solved using the following formula. Scale is equal to chart length over earth distance. To use this formula, chart length and earth distance need to have the same units in order to get the scale in dimensionless representative fraction format. Therefore, you need to be conversant with the distance conversion factor. The method of converting distance unit was discussed in detail in my previous video titled Distance. You can find the link to the video in the description. This formula can be placed in a formula triangle. If the question asks you to find a variable of the formula, just close the variable on the triangle to get the formula. Let's look at a few examples to understand how to use this formula. By the way, 
don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. Example 1. 1 inch equal to 10 nautical mile. What is the representative fraction? The formula is scale equal to chart length over earth distance. Insert data given by the equation into the formula. Now, we need to make sure both numerator and denominator have the same unit. Therefore, we need to convert nautical mile into inches. To convert nautical mile into inches, the relevant conversion factor are 1 nautical mile equal to 6080 feet and 1 foot equal to 12 inches. First, convert 10 nautical mile to feet. Since 1 nautical mile and 6080 feet are the same value, if we put it as a fraction in an equation, the value equals 1. Thus, it did not change the value of the equation. Because we want to cancel nautical mile, we put 1 nautical mile as the denominator and 6080 feet as the numerator. We can then cancel nautical mile and get the value in feet. Next, we need to convert feet into inches. To cancel feet, we put 1 foot as the denominator and 12 inches as the numerator. We get 10 nautical mile equal to 729,600 inches. Insert this value back into the formula. Because both numerator and denominator unit are inches, we can cancel it out. Therefore, the scale in the representative fraction format is 1 over 729,600 or 1 to 729,600. Example 2. On a particular chart, 5 cm represent 7 nautical mile. What is the scale? The formula is scale equal to chart length over earth distance. Insert data given by the equation into the formula. Now, we need to make sure both numerator and denominator have the same unit. Always convert the denominator data. Therefore, we need to convert nautical mile into centimeters. To convert nautical mile into centimeters, the relevant conversion factor are 1 nautical mile equal to 1852 meters and 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters. First, convert nautical mile to meters. Then, convert meters to centimeters. 7 nautical mile is equal to 1 million 296,400 centimeter. Bring this value into the formula. Now that both numerator and denominator are in centimeters, we can cancel it up. As you can see, the numerator is 5. To turn the numerator to 1 without affecting the overall value, divide both numerator and denominator by 5. Scale in the representative fraction is 1 over 259,280 or 1 to 259,280. Example 3. On a chart scale 1 to 5 million, how many nautical miles on the earth are represented by 1.7 cm? The formula is scale equal to chart length over earth distance. We need to find earth distance. Earth distance is equal to chart length over scale. Insert the data given by the equation into the formula. Rewrite the equation. Earth distance is 8.5 million centimeter. 
we need to convert this value into nautical mile. To convert centimeter into nautical mile, the relevance conversion factors are 1 nautical mile equal to 1852 meters and 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters. First, convert centimeters to meters. Next, convert meters to nautical mile. 8.5 million centimeters is equal to 45.9 nautical mile. Thus, the Earth's distance for 1.7 cm chart distance is 45.9 nautical mile. Example 4. A chart has a representative fraction of 1 to 2 million. What chart length in inches represent an Earth's distance of 250 km. Formula is scale equal to chart length over Earth's distance. We need to find chart length. Chart length is equal to scale multiplied by Earth's distance. Insert the data given by the equation into the formula. Chart length is equal to 0 0.000125 km. We need to convert kilometer into inches. To convert kilometer into inches, the relevant conversion factor are 1 kilometer equal to 3,280 feet and 1 foot equal to 12 inches. Convert kilometers to feet. Next, convert feet into inches. Thus, 0.000125 km is equal to 4.92 inches. 250 km Earth distance is equivalent to 4.92 inches on a 1 to 2 million chart. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, Please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you need additional help in your exam preparation, consider joining Answering ATPL membership. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the following video.